this series, I'm going to show you my workflow for correcting, modifying, and polishing animations inside of Unreal Engine 5.4. This is especially important when trying to correct for retargeting issues or just animations that don't exactly do what you're hoping for in your final product. This workflow is generalized. It should work for the correction or modifying of any animations, and it actually applies to creating animations from scratch, but I'm not going to do that in this series. To start with, let's go ahead and create a base foundational level so that our, that's where our sequencer is going to live so we can edit animations. So we go to new level, basic is totally fine. And then we're going to want to add our mannequin. I prefer the UE5 Manny and let's just go to uh, the origin with them. And there we go. And then I'll, uh, so we'll go ahead and just get everything lined up. And since I'm doing parkour animations, I'm gonna go ahead and add any obstacles or other actors to the scene that I need to be able to properly assess and edit this animation. So in my case, that's just a platform essentially. So let's go ahead and just add in a cube and I'll go ahead and set this cube. We'll make him, uh, let's just put him at, I don't know, 200 ahead of the player, put him at zero. We'll make him uh, two meters high which means I need to put his center at 100, one meter. And then let's go ahead and make him uh, three meters wide. And so now, so now we have a good platform. So if we're gonna do a mantle in this case, he's gonna go grab onto that thing, climb up on top. Um, this is the perfect setup for it. So we'll go ahead and save this off. This is now our base level. And now we can add our sequence. So we go to add level sequence. You can name it whatever you like. And that'll bring up the sequencer. And now we need to add these actors to the sequencer. Before I do that, I'm just going to go ahead and delete this player start. Let's select the Manny. I can hit control A to put it into the sequencer. And my preference is always to convert it to a spawnable, which means even if I open this sequence in a level that isn't this one, I have uh, the Manny will come along with it and everything that I need will be there. I'll do the same thing for the cube, control A, convert it to a spawnable. And now I have everything I need to affect this. The one last thing I'll typically do is I'll make sure I'm at zero and I'll key the transform for that cube just to make sure it goes and is this size and everything is exactly how I like it. So now let's go ahead and delete the control rig. It is possible just to convert this to a layered control rig like this, but I've found that that sometimes distorts the joints or causes some problems, unintended consequences. Um, and so what I do instead is I delete that, I add in the animation, Um, let's see, I think it's mantle high. Let's go find it, run to run right there. All right, so there's my animation. I'm gonna drag in my end for the playhead right there. Or, and so now I'll set it up. And you notice my scrubbing stops at the edges. That's how I like it. If you want that same thing, you just go to the uh, playback controls, go down and say, keep playhead and playback range while scrubbing. All right, control shift S to save everything. And we're ready to start editing this animation. And you can immediately see that there are some problems. And then the last part of the setup that we'll want to execute is adding the control rig. So I just go to Manny. We want to add a layered control rig in this case. And then go down to the control rig and select not the FK control rig, but set control rig mannequin. And so that gives us all of our controls. And now we can take a look at this animation and see what's wrong with it. All right, so now let's assess this animation. My workflow is very common with a lot of the animation workflows you're gonna see. Solve the big problems first, and then you work your way down to the small, where the big problems are spacing, timing, and just gross, large animation issues. Kind of the same way that you wouldn't uh, arrange the deck chairs in the Titanic until you did something about that leak. Uh, same here. So if you were to spend a lot of time hand posing or getting everything lined up perfectly and then realize you've got to move the character two meters to the right, you're just going to have to do all that over again. So we try to solve all the big problems and our work our way to the small, where the big problems, especially those relating to spacing, timing, making sure the whole thing hangs together and it's doing what we want it to do. So, all right, let's get into it. Let's figure out what's going on with this animation specifically. So I think I have everything lined up. Yeah. So, okay. It's right off the bat, I'm seeing a couple things. First things first, um, let's see. No, his foot looks pretty good. 
Let's just see how it looks with the... All right, I'm going to go ahead and turn this to looping so that I can see it over and over again. Yeah, his foot looks pretty good. Okay, so he's good at the start. So our issues arise, really, they begin right there. So let's go ahead and we'll move in. We key everything. So you notice I have, I've keyed everything on the first one. To do that, you just hit this right. Oops, sorry. That's next key. So we won't do that. We'll go ahead and hit key and then let's move in okay and so this is important so i put a key here the moment i want to start warping i want to make sure i have a key on the frame prior to that now the good news is you notice his foot's already off the ground so i'm free to just use that key and since this is an additive rig all i'm going to do is key the changes so all right we'll go right here and now this is the one where i want to make sure and i'm going to I'm going to, from here, after I mod use the global one to do the gross trajectory issues, now I'm going to use the root control, which is called body offset. And I'm going to bring him up to where he belongs. Now, remember, I'm not fixing the, uh, the long track issues with it. And so here, let's go ahead and I'll control one and make that my viewport. I'll come over here and get another look at it. Control two. And let's just... There we go, control three. So, all right, we'll go back to one. So control one, two, and three set the uh, viewport camera bookmarks, um, and then pressing one, two, and three will move you between them. All right, so that actually looks pretty good. So now we'll play it back and we'll see, yep. Okay, there's a minor issue right there. He kind of got a little high. So let's go ahead and we'll just correct that real quick and see how that looks. Oh, there you go, that looks nice. So, okay, so he gets a little low there, but we'll fix that in the gross, like, or in the fine controls where we fix the, although one thing that we can fix, so here's an example of where well, we're going to have to fix that penetration right there, but if I go ahead and set the key before he does that, yeah, so, okay, I'll set a key right here, and I really only need to worry about the body offset control because that's all I'm dealing with, in no sense making a whole bunch of extra keys. Okay, so what I'm trying to do is as soon as he breaks free, so he goose moves off that key, I'm going to go ahead and bring him in and get him a little better. So there we go. Okay, so now, boom, he's, uh, okay, we immediately see we have a problem. So let's go ahead and... Right there's probably where I need to bring this up and get his foot on the ground. And so we'll see. Yeah, so there we go. So we'll move ahead. And I'm I'm essentially I'm putting down some keys just to try to get some consistency. And then I'll minimize them as we get there. So yeah, right there is a low spot. So I'm really just trying to fix. And I can just move in. And I'm just trying to fix that the foot height now. So let's go ahead and hit shift space. There we go. And maybe we can stop his levitation. Unless that's what you're going for. In which case, you, you. But in this case, I'm trying to have physics and gravity matter. And that's pretty good for a first pass. And so now we'll work our way around to the other foot. Let's just make sure that everything looks good. Oh yeah, that looks good. Actually, that one was, that one was just already right. So we've got a little bit of right to left rotation, swivel, uh, rotation around the z-axis on that left foot, but we'll fix that in the fine tune. So, but for right now, yeah, that's looking a lot better. That's at least plausible that that's what he's doing is jumping on top of that without any use of magic or the like. So now that we have this, what we can do, and we can just bake this out to an animation. So I'll just right click on the Manny and bake animation sequence. And then here, we'll just put it in here and I'll call this whatever, mantle B2, whatever you like. And now if you're using revision control, this is like a great time, control shift S, save everything. Whether you're using revision control or not, you should always save. Well, I think I hadn't saved it yet. So now we're saving this level. We'll call this anim base two for whatever it happens to be. And we've saved all this off. Everything's looking good. I baked out thing. And so 
If you're using revision control, this would be a good time to check it into the revision control and then you can move on. If you, the alternative is you can go to your level sequence right here, find it in the content browser and you can just hit control D and there's now you have a backup of it, but I don't recommend this cause it's just going to, um, stack up. I'd much prefer to use something like uh, unity version control, Blastic SCM, GitHub, whatever, whatever you happen to use, Git, whatever, uh, do that is going to make your life a lot, uh, a lot easier, but here's where you would check it in and you can continue to use the same sequence. Um, by now that you have the animation baked, we can actually delete this control rig. We can delete this animation and we can just go add in our new what, mantle V2. And now I have my animation again, the new animation, and I can just go add another layered control rig. And now I can move on to my fine tuning. But that's it for the, that would be what I would call the big issues. That gets everything aligned. So now I can focus on the fine tuning without worrying whether I'm going to have to go back and fix one of the large aspects of that animation, the larger motions.